Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Dex Lab Analytics. My name is Niharika Rai and in this particular video I will be talking about autoregressive moving average method of time series analysis also known as ARAMA. If you haven't watched my previous videos of time series analysis, you can go ahead and click on the eye icon on the top right hand side corner of your screen so that you are directed to those videos. Now without wasting any further time, let's get started. Now, a Rama model is a combination of two models or two processes per se, that is your autoregressive process and the second is your moving average process. Now, for autoregressive process, autoregressive process is nothing but when the value of yt, when the value of yt is observed over a period of yt minus 1, in that case that means the, 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 the effects of yt are because of yt minus 1 or yt minus 2 in combination of that then in that case it is called autoregressive process where yt is the current data current observation yt minus 1 is your yt minus 1 is your uh, previous year's data that is the lag and yt minus 2 is your the data for a year previous to that and a constant term if i add it write the exact formula then it will be yt equals to alpha 1 that is a constant yt minus 1 and a residual term so autoregressive process is nothing but when the the effect of uh, when the uh, effects of changes in the yt are because of the uh, changes in previous years in that case it is called autoregressive method or process also the the lag in this particular autoregressive process is defined by a variable p and this is the variable which we need to consider or the lag which we need to consider while uh, considering the effects of effects of this lag over a period of time on data yt now as discussed in the previous video moving average process is when um, when your value of yt is the occurrence uh, is the reason uh, or is caused by the weighted average weighted average of the previous year's data in that case you say that it is a moving average process or you can say that the value yt is the effect of the residuals in the previous year now let's write down the formula to understand the Ar arama model more clearly for ar it is yt equals to some constant value at period yt minus 1 plus the residual term which we don't know yet so that we get the yt value and ma that is your yt equals to some theta that is the constant plus residual term of this year which we don't know plus the residual term of the previous year the, the, uh, the error which we were uh, which was caused because of the uh, prediction of or the difference between the yt and um, say yt minus 2 minus yt minus 1 which combines to form a formula that is theta for arama model theta equals to some constant sorry plus some constant yt minus 1 plus beta mu t plus beta mu t minus 1 therefore the 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 two parts that is arama has is the autoregressive part that is over the period of time what is the lag uh, what is the effect of lab lag plus what is the effect of residual in prediction of 
y t value where p is the order of autoregressive process and q is the order of moving average process where q is nothing but how many years of residual you want to consider while constructing your uh, while uh, checking the effect on yt now the best way to predict or to consider the value of p and q what should be the value of p and q is by using acf and pacf model which stands for auto correlation uh, auto auto correlation function auto correlation function and partial auto correlation function auto correlation function now what does acf and pacf mean now when the effects on yt are considered or checked on the basis of say we have year 1 year 2 year 3 year 4 when the effects on yt are considered on the basis of all the lags in the previous year to project yt in that case it is called auto correlation function and when the effect of this fourth lag this fourth year is taken into consideration by directly checking the effect on the yt year that is the direct effect of y uh, this lag on yt when it is checked that in that case it is called p c a p a c f in that case the middle years that had the uh, the middle year which had the effect of uh, on this yt are removed or the residual or the error is removed from this part since the difference between um the since the difference between this and this effect or uh, result is already included in this part this part is removed that is the residual part and in that case it is called pacf now let's check out in python codes how to calculate this acf and pcf to uh, understand what should be the value of p and q that is order of uh, auto correlation or auto regression or uh, and the order of moving average now here what we are doing is we are just removing all the errors in case a warnings which might appear by importing a warnings method and then using the simple uh, filter warnings method and here we are also for reading the data we are using pandas underscore data reader for uh, date time we are using date time method and for you know extracting the data from the web we are using web method and we are extracting it from data uh, pandas and is called data reader method now for this particular um, data set we are extracting the data from of tesla from uh, from bit, uh, the year between 2012 and 2017 and the result looks somewhat like this we have high value low value open and close volume and the adjusting close values now for again as i said simple filter uh, method is used to ignore the warnings which might appear on the screen now from the stats stats model uh, tsa module stats tool we are uh, importing acf and pcf methods and we are also importing numpy seaborn matplotlib for the visualization of the same now after that what we are doing is we are using the tesla open met uh, open column and we are storing it in y uh, y variable and using acf method which uh, again is used for uh, lags considering sorry for is used to uh, find out the moving average uh, value of q we are using that here and we have y comma n lags 500 that is the number of lags which we are going to initially consider here and y is the data that is open 
opening price of the stock and here what we are doing is we are using plt dot figure and in figure size we are keeping it as 12 and 5 and using the lag acf um, value here in the plot method and using marker plus and color red uh, we are also uh, introducing a horizontal line on the axis uh, from uh, y0 line equals to this and we are also we will be introducing three horizontal line basically one for the zero value one for the value which is uh, lying uh, within minus 196 and minus uh, plus 1.96 a square root uh, that's that and the length which we are using is direct horizontal line the line is uh, a dash and the colors are gray for that same now once we have applied this you see the graph looks like somewhat like this and uh, as as the the as the lags are increasing as the number of lags are increasing the effect of or the correlation between the yt value and the, its lag is reducing so what we would like to do is we would like to use the minimum of the lags which we can see here after approximately 350 lags the 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 effect of uh, you can say the effect of uh, the previous data is reducing and going back to the value of zeros here and as the minimum lags we are using the effect is very high on the yt data now what we want to do is uh, since uh, this if you use 350 lags then there is a problem of multi corneality here so um, that's that we will try to use as minimum minimum value of q as possible in this regard in case of acf uh, model now what we want to do is for PC, pca pacf uh, model or uh, process what we want to do is again we want to use the pcaf method and we are using the open data value here and the number of lags we are keeping 50 in case uh, if 50 here so that uh, we get a very clear picture of what should be the minimum value of uh, autocorrelation uh, autocorrelation lags here the method which we are using here is OLS and once we have done that and use this PACF method which automatically calculates the value of um, uh, value of the auto uh, values here partial autocorrelation function value uh, then we are again projecting the graph using the figure method um, and um, using again the color uh, using the again the plot method with this particular value and keeping the range that is anything between these range should be considered as zero that is what we are assuming here and uh, drawing on horizontal line uh, we are getting that we have written the title as partial autocorrelation method once you see look at this particular um, graph you see that after after the second lag you can see almost the first lag and the, this the second lag after uh, beyond this uh, lag value that is almost to the 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 data the, the correlation is moving uh, downwards or is completely within zero that means beyond two lags one should not take the predictions or one should not consider the effects of um, these uh, to lag data um, beyond that we should not consider that because then in that case the uh, there will be an error or you can say lack of correlation between the y values and we might be able we might end up predicting wrong data so that's it for this video hope you like this video and in case you did then please click on the like button also um, click on uh, also share it with your friends um, if you want to learn more from text lab analytics or from me you can go ahead and click on the website www.dexlabanalytics.com you can also call on the numbers given on the screen uh, you can also uh, mail us at hello at the rate dexlabanalytics.com we are currently placed in gurgaon and taking sessions online uh, bye bye take care